Hi, I'm Paul Asbell for the Archtop Foundation, and um, we're looking, examining at uh, uh, the Scott Kitchenery collection of blue guitars. And this one, the next one up, is Linda Manzers. Linda was a um, apprentice for quite a while uh, of Jimmy DeQuisto, and Jimmy's influences in, uh, can be seen in a number of uh, appointments on this instrument. For example, you can clearly see uh, the tailpiece is built um, using a kind of a similar aesthetic that Jimmy used, and it's very visible. Um, you can also um, see it in kind of the spareness of the aesthetic. It's not the John D'Angelico uh, kind of over-the-top thing. And as a result of its being rather spare, it's also very light, which really makes it sound beautiful. You can see the uh, F-hole um, idea here, which is actually quite DeQuisto-influenced. Uh, and um, on the other hand, it has Linda's kind of um, signature headstock design. And the Lily, which is a uh, kind of identifier here of many of her guitars. And uh, there's a really nice logo inlay at the very top. The uh, sound port, which is here, not many of the Chinnery guitars have that sound port. This is not only a sound port, but a sound port with a door. And the door is a little bit sticky. And that, in fact, is one of the reasons why people often don't uh, follow, you know, uh, don't make those doors anymore. It's very, very difficult, I'm told to make a door that doesn't stick. It works, it works fine, but it is just, it is not quite as elegantly smooth as one might wish. Um, there are four other builders who are used, uh, have used that door design over the years in this collection. Uh, Montleone uh, is one, he actually had three sound ports in his, and Benedetto and Tom Rebecca, as well as Linda. And actually, it's not really, um, they were not the innovators of this thing. Uh, as Linda says, um, she got the idea from Grit Laskin. It sounds like Grit may have been the very first person to have actually done that design. Beautiful sounding guitar.